It's absolutely chucking it down outside and that can mean only one thing. It's time for our summer holidays. Now I've just come to pick Alicia up from work. She's got no idea where we're going. Welcome to the first episode of Viewer's Choice. Here she comes. Hi. Hi. What a day. It's a holiday weather. Oof. This is funny because the viewers will have seen the thumbnail which is in the future, but this is in the past, but you're the only one that doesn't know where we're going. Does that make sense? Where are you going on your holidays? Tom Knight, John Dunn and JSM told us to go here, so we're on our way to... Orkney! Yay! <laughs> Not bad. Could be Excited? worse. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> what do you think about that? I'm very happy we're going to work here because I've never been and it's a very cool place. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because I've never been there. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. Thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Shelter wasn't being closed and shortly wasn't even the bathroom. Weather conditions today are good and we expect to arrive in stall on schedule at 10 15. I've been staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye. I've been asking every question. Cause I haven't got a clue. Has it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? Welcome to the Ring of Brodka! I can barely see it, but it's beautiful. I don't know much about it. I don't know if anyone knows much about it, but what we do know is it's about four and a half thousand years old. Less than a mile separates the Ring of Brodgar and some other pretty impressive Neolithic stones, so that was our next stop. Standing here hiding from the wind behind one of the stones of Sten Ness. Now the Ring of Brodgar is up there and some stories say that that represents death and the stones of Sten Ness represent life, what do you think?
Hi, I like your nose. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Baby. Meow. Hi, Trouble. You're the friendliest, aren't you? <laughs> it's such a beautiful afternoon. We had a wee nap in the van. When we wake up, it's beautiful. So we're having an afternoon coffee at St Margaret's Hope. And we're going on the beach. We're going to the, to not, the beach. Not that kind of beach. What kind of beach? This might not look like everyone's idea of a perfect beach, but this is a bit of a hot spot for sea pottery. So we'll be spending quite a while here, I reckon. Where's she gone? I can't even see her. She's miles away. A proper dedicated beachcomber. Hey honey, have you found anything? This place is stunning. St Margaret's Hope is Orkney's third largest settlement, but that's not saying much, this place is tiny. Sitting on the island of South Ronaldsea, this would have been a bit trickier to get to from Kirkwall before the Churchill barriers were built, but now it's an easy drive and easily one of my favourite places. We're soaking up every bit of sun this evening because we're not too confident about the forecast for the next couple of days. Oh, I love the simplicity here, look. Front road, back road. You're not gonna get lost in St Margaret's Hope. These houses that are literally right down onto the beach with their own slipways and steps down. They're such a feature of like Orkney and Shetland. And I think they're just beautiful. That bench is a bit precarious though. Classy dinner. Yes. <laughs> it's only half portion. I know. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Good morning from St Margaret's Hope. The sun is actually trying to get through this morning. We had a really comfortable night. We were just parked right here on the front. Today, I don't know, the weather's all over the place today. We'll see what happens. But for now, let's take advantage of all that blue sky. We're passing the barriers again this morning. Now these barriers and the sunken ships, I think that was all done on purpose to stop U-boats getting in during the war, but I'm not sure, that might be complete lies. These barriers were built around 1940 and they run about a mile and a half between the four of them, all the way from the Orkney mainland down to South Ronaldsea. The thing that I couldn't work out though is how would you walk them? I'm guessing you're not allowed to unless you clamber over those jaggy edges of the cubes of stone. Something to bear in mind is that although Orkney is a fairly small group of islands, a drive for example from where our ferry arrived in Stromness down to St Margaret's Hope, that's still over 40 miles. That said though, the roads here are so much better than anything we have back home in Edinburgh, so it's an absolute pleasure to drive. This is us now approaching the palace and the Isle of Bursey. I'm being totally serious here. I cannot tell you how much that is my dream house. Zanzibar. That is, that is absolutely perfect. Do you think someone lives there or is that? I think so because it looks oh, like there's cushions in. Gorgeous inside. It's lovely, it's very cozy. Orkney sits right at the end of the Gulf Stream. So you're generally going to have some pretty mild weather here year round to explore the more than 500 miles of coastline. And that includes some beaches that just take your breath away. Over here behind us is the Isle of Bursey. And as you can see, there's a little walkway that goes over at low tide. So we'll come back and give that a shot later. 
And as with a lot of the islands here, they're very gentle on this side and then they've got a sheer cliff on the far side. There's a little lighthouse up there as well, looking forward to seeing that. Oh wow, Ta -da! look at that. Nice. Look, it's even got a card machine. Oh wow. An honesty box with a card machine. That looks just ridiculously good. <laughs> and we'll I take like some honey cake. Honey cake. Card machine, press green button and wait. Tap the machine with contacts. Card approved. That's Scarabray up there. That's where we're going next. I've driven past Scarabray before and not gone in. And what a mistake that was. This place is unbelievable. Especially when you consider it was occupied from around 3180 BC. It was rediscovered in 1850 after a massive storm revealed its outline. And today you can just wander around at your leisure and ask the awesome guides any burning questions you have. And there's nothing these guys don't know about this place. Here we are, we're back at Bursi, and we're going across to the island. Do you think we'll make it up to the lighthouse? We'll try. There's a lot of history here in Bursi, but shamefully we had to skip past it as we were racing against the tide. We'd love to stay here, but maybe not tonight. Bursi Lighthouse. If I sound out of breath, it's because I am. The Stevenson Lighthouse here in Bursi dates from around 1925, and as impressive as it is, it's the cliffs on the northern and western sides that really steal the show. Just don't be getting too close to the edge. Everything here looks a little bit fragile on this section of coastline that's still having its geography updated on a daily basis by the might of the Atlantic Ocean. Scary. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Seems like we have plenty of time. We managed to stay away from the edge and then it was a quick dash back down to the shore quick enough to ensure it would be just our feet getting wet. <laughs> Not too bad. Look at the glass of seaweed here. Oh wow. It looks like two pieces. <laughs> oh, there's still a young couple there. So I guess you could say we just made it. <laughs> well, that's coming towards the end of day two. Another stunning day weather-wise. We've done so much today as well. We're just going to stay up here. The advantage of that is that it's really quiet um, and it's a beautiful spot on the island. The disadvantage is we don't have beer and there's no shops anywhere around. Supper, supper. Look, you have so much more than me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> We're leaving the van behind and we're going to an airport. I know we're not doing the shortest flight in the world, we, we couldn't get a ticket for it. But we're doing another flight, so that'll be good enough.
I'll be posting a separate video of this awesome wee flight in Overnighter in Papa Westry. It's coming soon, I promise. Oh, 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 look at that! Nice. I didn't expect it. Wow! I bought a mug of all the essential things to buy when we come to the island. <laughs> look at this one! <laughs> oh, it's awesome! So that's the Northlink Ham Naveau in the background. That's our ferry, but not tonight it's not, because we've still got one night left in Orkney here in Stromness. But we'll be on that at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Won't we? Breakfast! Stromness is not only where we catch the ferry home, but it's also my favourite town in the whole of Orkney. A lot of that for me is down to the magical street that weaves its way along the shore for what feels like miles. And the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, that was the pub at the Royal Hotel as sit and write our postcards, reflecting on a perfect few days holiday. Thanks so much for all the recommendations and we'll be working our way through the rest of that list pretty soon. So there's tomorrow morning's ferry. There's toilets over here that seem to be open 24 hours a day and we're just parked here for the night. Sleeping with a view. <laughs> I've been lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I want to get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead The master's instructions Escape routes to the assembly stations are clearly marked by luminous arrows and by low-level emergency lighting The assembly stations are the places on the vessel where passengers should assemble in the event of an emergency each assembly station is identified by a square green and white sign with an arrow in each corner pointing inwards to a picture of a family group.